Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prons and today we're going to be taking a look at the new-ish Emacs Tiny Hawk. This is another contender in the Winter Whoop Wars and it is a 1S quadcopter and I'll tell you up front before I got into this I was really ready to hate it. Uh, design wise, the way it looked, everything about it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we do that, don't forget to look in your upper right hand corner right now to see what the latest giveaways are. So make sure anything that is going on, you can get involved in. So let's take a look at it and look at what we get in the box. Now it comes in this nice case and inside the case, the first thing we're gonna get is this nice little manual. Once again, things have gotten so much better in the manual world as far as these companies go. They're doing a great job putting them in. It's in Chinese, it's in English. It's gonna tell you about all your setups and all those good things and another job well done. Uh, next thing we're gonna get in there is we are going to get a 450 maw HV battery. You're gonna get one of those and take note that it does have the little wire hanging off it versus the way some of your other 450s might have looked. You're also going to get a four, believe it or not, four plugged USB charger. Lately we've been doing one plug USB chargers, but this one we actually get four so we can charge four batteries at once. The next thing we're gonna get is a little parts kit and inside that part kit we have another JST, we have some screws, and we have the, the typical things that have a tendency to get lost or fall off. And the next thing we're gonna have is our Tiny Hawk and this is a 75 millimeter from motor to motor and this sweet little case which is actually a hard top case so it is a really nice case and a nice little package next up in the review as always is our specifications so we have the vtx camera combo and that is a 600 tlv rtvl cmos 25 milliwatt 37 channel with smart audio it has 802 15,000 kv motors running 40 millimeter props it also has a f4 board inside of here and it is sporting the matec 411 firmware it also, if you note right here, the plug for it is on the back conveniently, really nicely placed. And that button right there is to change your VTX. So it is nice and convenient there to bind it is actually underneath. The flexibility is really good of the frame. I thought it was gonna be rigid, but it's nice and flexible. It's using an integrated 1S ESC board with three amps per motor and it is D-Shot compatible. Not that it's gonna do you a lot of good because turtle moding with these inverted props is not very easy. The next thing we have is our receiver, which is FreeSky only because they use the Emacs Tiny receiver and that is an FR Sky receiver. Now another interesting note is how this battery mounts inside the quad. If you'll note, it's running sideways, which is a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. But to me, it makes a lot of logical sense because now our center of gravity is right there in the middle, really easy um, versus, you know, sometimes when your battery hangs too far forward or too far back, it's um, kind of your center of gravity can move a little bit more. This seems to, to really handle that well. And I think that was, again, uh, well thought through. So, uh, you know, good job, Emacs, for thinking about that. So let's just get this guy in the air and uh, see how she flies. So as normal, I open her up. I make sure i check out what beta flight we're running this one was running 3.5.1 so i make sure we're somewhat up to date i back up my setup and i take it out and fly it and i film it and that's what you get here uh, my videos aren't about showing you how good i fly it's showing you what you expect when you open the box and you put your battery in and you take it out and this is what we get no changes to the pids no anything one of the first things to take note of, I think, on this flight is how smooth it does fly. Now, the roll and the pitch are a little slow, as you can tell, and we'll take a look at why that is down the line. But if you look at it, very smooth, very buttery turns, very, very calm. You know, again, this is a 1S. Remember that this is not competition for the Mobula Seven. This is more along the lines of looking at, you know, the URUAV. 65 or the beta 65 pro 75 pro those kind of quads is what we're looking at but here's why i think it is such a smooth flyer but maybe limited via that smoothness is if you go in to the pids that this comes loaded with the the pids are 
outrageously high, like 100s, 120s, 90s, uh, things I would normally only see like in a Project Mockingbird for brushed. Uh, but if you look at the curve too, it's got a curve to where most of your middle portions of your stick are not going to react, but the far ends are going to react. So it also helps you from just just your fingers moving naturally, making the quad bounce around. And that's how I usually set mine up. But the downside of this one was with all the rates and things they added, it brought the roll rate down to only 400 per second. And, and that's that's pretty slow. I usually run at 900 and keeping my yaw around six because I don't use yaw as much. But like I said, it, it, it did make it very, very smooth. And like I said, I was ready to hate this thing. And you know, now my battery's on charge and I can't wait to get it back out there again. I have gone in now, made a little adjustment to my PIDs to give me a little bit more of a, a roll rate on my, um, on my pitch in my, and my, my turns. And, uh, we'll see how that goes but i can fly it like this you know i, I can tell you too definitely uh, if you're looking for an indoor this is an indoor candidate you know um make sure you watch other people's videos other people's reviewers videos yes that's right i said it and nobody else will but yeah make sure you check out other people's stuff take a look at what uh, what the other guys have to say about it i know their videos were out before mine there was a delay in me getting mine we won't go into that again but you know, uh, it's definitely worth checking out and seeing what other people, they might get into a detail I didn't get into as well. But enough about that. Like I said, just it was really fun to fly. And, um, you know, it, I wouldn't, you know, say it's the best or anything, but, but the price is right too. It's $99 right now. I'm sure there are going to be deals. You know, Banggood's got 8% off just about everything. Um, I'm sure you can come in at a lower price than that at many vendors. I'm going to put links below to both Banggood and Amazon if you want it even faster. If they're still available at Amazon, you could get them, you know, with your Prime in a couple days. But if you're interested in buying one. But I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to put it compared to Brushed. I'm going to put it compared to other 1Ss. And I'm going to put it compared to other 2s's in a, another video that'll be longer that'll be what whoop do you want for winter so that's coming soon pay attention for that video to come out and as always guys i appreciate you coming to the channel i appreciate you watching the videos don't forget to look at the uh giveaways and as always guys happy flying Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.